Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. Uh, what I wanted to cover here was a great way for you to figure out uh, exactly how many pieces and what you should think about making if you were taking one of my Raku firing workshops. So for our workshops, what I will wind up doing is three firings over the course of one day. We'll begin at 10 a.m., we'll finish around 4 p.m., and hopefully you'll be able to walk home with uh, all your wares that very same day, provided we're able to quench them with water and that your shapes uh, work out in that manner. So what I have here is essentially the full amount that one artist should bring. The way I try to break it down is that one of these kiln shelves broken into four quadrants is about what you're gonna get for each firing. So with each firing, we take on eight uh, participants or with each workshop. And with three turnarounds, uh, we can picture that for each firing, you are gonna get about one of these quadrants. Uh, we're at about nine and a half inches uh, wide by about 13 inches long. And again, it's in that kind of pie shut type shape. You can think about, because we're doing three firings throughout that day, that you can essentially pack wares in three of those quadrants and expect them uh, to be able to get fired. Now, one of the things to think about is essentially we are limited within floor space. So when it comes to that variety of shapes, if you're taking off something that, say, can't stand vertically and needs to be laid down, something like this may take a very... Uh, fair amount of space and you may want to couple it with say a tall narrow piece that could go beside it just keeping in mind that we really have to get in and pick all these pieces up and we are not going to be using shelves during these firings so with that said you want to kind of think about how you can balance those pieces again we'll take up those those three quadrants there and that other thing to keep in mind is that we need to be able to physically go in and pick these pieces up. So don't jam your pieces so tight that when it comes to that firing process, we can't kind of get in there with tongs and physically safely lift them up and out, right? If you have all pieces that are too, too tight and you think you're gonna just jam them almost to the point where they're touching, keep in mind that our glazes are gonna be really uh, essentially glossy and tacky as we go to lift. So what I don't want to do is start picking up a piece and have it bumping into other ones and uh, kind of leaving marks uh, on either your own work or somebody else's work. Uh, so go for about six to eight pieces. Again, you can think about filling three of these triangular quadrants that will be nine and a half inches by 13 inches long. And uh, and just think about um, that kind of variety and how you can really uh, optimize and really make the most uh, out of your space. If you're doing anything larger, you have any special requests, always feel free to email me, happy to answer any questions. And if we have to do something beyond that 10 inches, we can add additional rings, but it does slow our firings down. So maybe just that final firing for that day. Thank you so much. And I look forward to having you out here.